Hey GearHeads, this is Jeff with episode 5 of Show Us Your Humvee. In Show Us Your Humvee, we feed your Humvee fix with Humvees from around the world. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of our weekly episodes. The purpose of this series is to give you a deeper look into cool Humvees than you would get from a few pictures on social media. To be featured in Show Us Your Humvee, we need at least the year and model of your Humvee, where your Humvee lives, and some background on what makes it cool, like if you know any of your Humvee's history, upgrades you've made, how you use it in a unique way, etc. Send that info to showusyourhumvee at gearreport.com, and I'll put it in a future episode of Show Us Your Humvee. Let's dive into episode five of Show Us Your Humvee. As I show you Ben's Humvee, I want everyone to remember the feeling of awe and wonder that you had the first time you saw a Humvee in person. Ben wrote the following, my Humvee is nothing special, but it's been a dream since I was a teenager. I lived on the small island country of Kingdom of Tonga for 14 years. And remember when the US military donated a few Humvees to the King's army. Those things were so cool and I can't believe I actually own one now. <laughs> Wow, I suddenly feel like my life up to this point has been exceedingly boring, but I digress. Ben and his Humvee live on an island in Florida now. The Humvee is a 1989 M998 with 9,800 miles on it. It has a 6.5 liter non-turbo engine with the TH400 three-speed transmission. It is set up as a troop carrier, but Ben plans to make it a four-door hard top. But Ben's not just gonna go out and buy a hard top. Ben and his father have some experience with boat building. They're gonna leverage that experience to build their own hard top and rear curtain from fiberglass and plywood. Since this is Ben's daily driver and he lives in Florida, air conditioning will be added before summer and a 4L80E four-speed transmission soon after. Ben also plans to paint his Humvee, but hasn't yet decided what color please leave a comment to help Ben decide. He's game for anything. For example, here's the most recent project that Ben completed. It's a 1987 Jeep YJ made into a Jurassic Park Jeep number 12. Moving up the East Coast, let's check in with Rollins in Tifton, Georgia. This Humvee was a complete build. It originally sported a hard top, but was converted to a four-man soft top. The body's been sprayed with Durabac. No torn, worn canvas seats here. Rollins installed leather seats and also added a stereo. This Humvee has military X doors and 17 inch method racing wheels wearing 40 inch tires. And yes, he lifted the Humvee and also installed American Humvee springs to go with the bigger tires. Rollins also installed custom front and rear bumpers with LED lights and added step rails to the sides. Rollins reports this beast is a blast to drive on the streets or trails. In the third spot this week, keeping it in a Georgia state of mind, we'll visit Micah and Mason on the small farm they were born and raised on near Augusta, Georgia. Part of that farm is a junkyard where their father collected classic cars, four-wheel drive, and military vehicles. They've grown up building toys and restoring cars with their father. Five years ago, they had a chance to buy their first M998 Humvee. <laughs> now they're up to five, with three of them running at the moment. These aren't mall cruisers, folks. They take them on trail rides to mud events, pull trailers at fox hunts, pull anything out of the farm. Sometimes they just take them for an afternoon on dirt roads. All of that's interesting, really, until you see Humdinger. 28-year-old Mason bought a Humvee and the frame was trash. They searched for a good Humvee rolling chassis in their price range, but the brothers never could find one. So Mason decided he would build it the way he wanted. He pulled some two and a half ton axles from an old M35 deuce and a half that was in the woods for about 20 years, then added a salvaged Duramax. Six months and a heap of fab work later, he built his mud toy he calls Humdinger. If 
If you go to mud events around Georgia, you just might run into Humdinger yourself. Let us know if you do. Thanks, Micah, for sending all the pics and videos. You guys are clearly having a blast and getting the most out of your Humvees. I'm going to act like that saucy brunette back in high school English class and just tease you a little. Oh, that's all you get for now. Next week, we'll be at SHOT Show in fabulous Las Vegas but we will have some really cool Humvees to show you in episode six when we get back. If you'd like your Humvee to be featured in Show Us Your Humvee, it's pretty simple. Send some landscape oriented pictures or a link where I can download some video of you doing cool stuff in your Humvee. Please, video, landscape format. Also, we're adults, not millennials. When I get that video, I'm gonna work through in the order that I received them. So if you'd like to be featured sooner, send it in more quickly. For additional instructions on how to submit your Humvee to show us your Humvee, check out the video description down below. It's, is it here? No, down there somewhere.